you will apply some geometric and dimensional constraints to parameterize the bearing house project in this example. This parameterization will comply with measurement rules for these components. Parameterization makes it possible to adjust measurements in the entire bearing housing to meet the needs of the axle diameter. Let's open the bearing housing DWG file and after that we will start the parameterization process. Start first by inserting geometric constraints for all AutoCAD parameterization processes. Then apply the coincident constraint after the Auto Constraint option is enabled. Fix this edge after the Fix constraint is enabled. Following that, apply the tangent constraints from the edges of the arcs to the rest of the bearing housing. Insert the concentric constraint from the arc to the axle diameter. Now apply the horizontal constraints at the base of the bearing housing and the center line. Apply the vertical constraint on the bearing housing edges, whole wall and center lines. After applying these constraints, apply the parallel constraint from the geometry part entities to the center lines. Notice this constraint will be only applied to half of the part. Let's define the length of the bearing housing supports as equal, so that the equal constraint can be applied to these entities. Symmetric is the last constraint to be applied. Notice how this constraint will be applied to these elements. After all geometric constraints have been applied, see how the layout will look. So, to conclude the parameterization process, insert the dimensional constraints. In our case, define the measurements only for the axle diameter value. All the others are linked to it to get to the final measurements. Let's start by inserting the dimension to define the axle diameter. Enable the diameter tool and select the circumference. Let's define 50 for the value and confirm. The arc radius will be 80% smaller than the axle diameter. After the radial tool is enabled, let's select the radius and type the following expression die 1 multiplied by 0 0.8. All other dimensions inserted in the project will conform to this diameter. Use the linear tool to insert these dimensions. The length of the bearing housing support will be equal to the axle diameter. The holes which enter these supports will also be half the axle diameter height. The distance from the center of the hole to the edge of the bearing housing 
will be half the length of the bearing housing support. So the bearing housing height will be twice the axle diameter plus 20. Let's see how the drawing measurements look. Now, when the axle diameter is changed, all drawing measurements will be automatically updated too. So, in this example, you have learned about parameterizing the measurement of a bearing housing based on the axle diameter applied to the drawing.